Let's go through our colors in this class. So I'm going to start with what we're using as a primary red, which is permanent alizarin. And it's a red that's based on a very traditional watercolor called alizarin crimson. It's a coolish red. And what we're going to do is go around the color wheel, going from cool red towards our yellows, which gets us into warmer colors. And then we'll con complete the circle going around and coming back. So after the permanent alizarin, we're going to go a little bit warmer to quinacridone red. And I know that that's a mouthful and a lot to remember, but you believe me, you'll get used to it after a while, but because these are very transparent, very clear, permanent colors. And look at the how brilliant that red is. And next we're going to go over, and you can see that while I'm painting this, that the colors are kind of mingling, which is one of my favorite aspects of watercolor. But we're going to go now even warmer towards yellow to Windsor orange. And remember that if you don't have all of these colors, for example, you don't have this Windsor orange, you can mix a red and a yellow and create your own orange. So Windsor orange is a little bit more opaque but it gives us a beautiful, beautiful orange. So moving on, now I'm gonna to go to Indian yellow, which again is very transparent and a very beautiful, warm yellow. And next is our primary yellow, Oriolin. Again, a kind of an older watercolor pigment and a very unusual, cool yellow. So there are lots of yellows on the market, but this one, look at how beautiful and natural that yellow is. So for the cool yellows, it's hard to find something that beautiful. A lot of times they have a greenish or goldish tint to them. Now we're going to go from our primary yellow, Oriolin, and move around the circle towards our primary blue. So from Oriolin, I'm going to start adding blue to my yellow and get this beautiful it's called green gold. And it's actually not a mix of, it's a single pigment, which means that it has a very good pigment strength and it's a very beautiful color. It's transparent, it's permanent, and it's great for glazing. Moving again closer to the blue, I'm gonna to go to Windsor Green, and this is Windsor Green Blue Shade. There's also a yellow shade. But look at, the, again, this is a very rich color. By nature, it has a very deep value, so we're gonna use this in mixes when we wanna get darks. Again, it's great for glazes because of its transparency. The one thing to remember about Windsor Green and other greens of this class, which are called phthalos, is that they're very staining. So they're not very forgiving because it's hard to lift. So you wanna be aware when you use it. Okay, moving on, this next color is a favorite color of mine. This is pretty opaque. It's called Cobalt Turquoise Light. It's fairly opaque, but it's, it's just a gorgeous color and I love to use it for highlights. Actually, because it's opaque, you can use it on top of your paint sometimes and get a great highlight. The next blue, cobalt blue, is what I'm using as my primary blue. It, it's actually a warm blue, but it, it fits nicely between our next blue, French ultramarine blue, and the, the greener blues. But cobalt blue is really a gorgeous primary, so that's consider that our primary, and you can use that for mixing and for glazes as well. It is a transparent. Likewise, French ultramarine blue is transparent, it's also what we call granulating, and I'll explain that in a minute. Some of these other paints are granulating. This is a little bit warmer. We're now moving back towards permanent alizarin, so our blues are getting a little bit warmer into the purples. So the next color is cobalt violet, and here you can actually see the granulation on the paper. So this is a granulating paint, but it's actually also transparent. So again, we have a beautiful transparent. And then moving towards our red, we have a cool red called quinacridone magenta. Again, one of those more modern pigments called quinacridone that give us beautiful color, transparency, and permanence. 